A wonderful day, Grade 8 learners! Welcome to Englandia, where you can have fun while learning right at the comfort of your home. Come and join me as we explore, discover, and conquer the exciting world of challenges through English. I am Mom Charmaine, your teacher Franny for today. Our topic for today is context clues and idiomatic expressions in English 8, Quarter 1, Week 1. It is anchored to our most essential learning competency, which is to determine the meaning of words and expressions that reflect the local culture by noting context clues. With the following learning objectives. 1. Identify the meaning of words using context clues. 2. Determine the meaning of expressions that reflect local culture by noting context clues. Before we proceed with our lesson for today, let's have a quick recall of your prior knowledge about idioms. What is an idiom? An idiom is a phrase that has two meanings, the literal meaning and the figurative meaning. Examples Copycat Someone who copies the work of another person. Learn by heart to memorize something completely. Teacher's pet. The teacher's favorite student. Bookworm. Someone who reads a lot. Now, let's begin exploring idioms. But before we delve deeper into our lesson for today, let's answer this activity. Identify the meaning of the underlined words and expressions using context clues. Choose only the letter of the correct answer. You will be given 5 seconds to answer each item. Number 1. Filipinos believe that the elders have earned and have gotten the respect of the younger generations. A. Gotten B. Spent. C. Finished. D. Lost. Time's up. The correct answer is letter A. Gotten. Number two. Mano or pagmamano is part of a Filipino culture as a way of showing respect and requesting for blessings from the elders. What does the word mano mean? A. Bowing of head B. Honoring gesture C. Kissing of hand D. Embracing Time's up. What is your answer? Letter B. Honoring gesture. Number three. You must choose the right circle of friends, so you will not experience going in a lion's den that may bring you to the unsafe place. A. A dark place. B. A lion's house. C. A fighting arena. D. Unsafe place. Time's up. The correct answer is letter D. Unsafe place. Number four. A responsible youth avoids annoying anyone, for if he bugs someone, it will lead to trouble. A. Respects someone. 
B. Loves someone. C. Annoys anyone. D. Cares for someone. Time's up. The correct answer is letter C. Annoys anyone. Number five. He loved being with her since she was as sweet as honey and always knew what to say. A. Sweet person. B. Smart person. C. Caring person. D. Kind person. Time's up. The answer is letter A, sweet person. What is your score? Did you get a perfect score? If yes, good job. If not, don't worry. We will deepen your understanding so that you can get a higher score at the end of this episode. This time, let's begin to explore, discover, and conquer the words challenge us through this episode about context clues and idiomatic expressions. Now, I want you to focus, get your pen, and be ready to jot down in your English journal. Have fun learning! What do you usually do when you encounter unfamiliar words while reading a story, a passage, or a text? Do you look for a dictionary right away or just simply ignore these unfamiliar words or terms? Having difficulty in understanding some words should not hinder you from appreciating what you are reading and honing your love for reading. There are words in a sentence that may help you arrive at the meaning of an unfamiliar word. Let's examine the following sentences. What does the underlined word in sentence 1 mean? How about in sentence 2? How did you arrive at the meaning of apprehension and jittery? In sentence 1, what are the words that helped you decide on the meaning of the word apprehension? If your answers are a new normal system, and no face-to-face -face classes, then you are correct. How about in sentence two? If your answers are hesitant and joining the singing contest, then you are doing great. Based on the given sentences, what are context clues? Context clues are hints that a reader gets from a text by looking into the sentence or words that surround an unfamiliar word to determine its meaning. There are five types of context clues. Inference or general clues. The meaning of unfamiliar word depends on the guess or inference you can give based on the given situation or sentence. Example, his mother's pensive mood is overwhelming as he wakes up every morning with healthy food and ready clothes to be worn. Definition is a type of context clues that contains the definite definition of word in the sentence. Example, an idealistic youth is an optimistic person who looks at the better side of life. Example or explanation gives concrete example or explanation as a hint on the difficult word. Example, being hospitable, respectful, and resilient are the virtues that parents have inculcated to the youth of today.
Antonym or contrast is the type of context clues that contains the opposite meaning of word. Example, most teenagers are showing camaraderie to their siblings, while others express their dislike through actions. Synonym or restatement refers to the sentence that contains the same meaning of word as another word. Example, religion aids in shaping or framing the values of Filipino youth. Let us read the selection. Pondo Pondo dance is a kuyunon courtship dance done by the suitor who is head over heels in love with a woman. He shows his extreme love to this woman through his best dance skills, movements, and gracefulness. If the woman accepts the proposal, she would also dance with the man courting her. The woman sways with a handkerchief, which the man cleverly gets hold of. Once he successfully gets it, he receives the yes to confirm that they are already in a relationship and the possibility of tying the knot or getting married in the future. What do you call the underlined words or phrases used in the selection? Yes, your answer is correct. Those words are called idiomatic expressions or idioms. Can you guess the meaning of those idioms using context clues? Let's try to fill in the table. What is the meaning of head over heels? The answer is extremely in love with someone. What about tying a knot? Very good! The idiom means getting married. Here is another sentence with idiomatic expressions. Take note how to determine the meaning of the underlined idiom using context clues. During the competition, they have a neck and neck standing. So, the result of the ranking is very close. Using context clue, what is the meaning of the idiomatic expression, neck and neck? Yes, your answer is correct. The word very close is a hint to determine the meaning of the underlined idiom. Now, are you ready to conquer the challenge? Let's practice! Directions Fill in the blank with the missing word to complete the sentence. Choose the answer inside the box for each item. Number 1. Manungal jar is a blank jar which is topped with two figures. It serves as a funeral site of our ancestors. Book Burial Bus What do you think is the correct answer for number one? If burial is your answer, then you got the correct answer. Good job! Tagbanwa is considered as one of blank or upper class tribes in Palawan. Elite Easy Effective What is the correct word for number two? Yes, you are right. The correct word is elite. Number three. Tipano is the Tagbanwa's mouth blank. A wind instrument made from a tube with holes along it. Flame. Flash, 
flute. For number three, what is your answer? Flute is correct. Number four, a blank is a gentle song sang to send a child to sleep. Lullaby. Chant. Jingle. What is your answer in number four? Correct. Lullaby is the correct answer. Good job. Number five. Kuyunon refers to a blank spoken at the coast of Palawan in Kuyo Island, Philippines. It is a system of communication which consists of set of sounds and written symbols. Language Writing Arts What is the correct answer in number five? Brilliant! The correct word is language. It's time to face another challenge by answering the next activity. Get ready with your pen and paper. Directions. Give the meaning of the underlined words using context clues. Choose your answer from the box below. Sadness. Determined. Expectant. Frustration. Careful. Happiness. Number one. Her regret is the result of her failed decisions. Number two, be persistent in setting your goals in life. The youth should be cautious in choosing the right path so they will not fail. Athletes like Jamaica and Eliza are optimistic to win the game. When depressed, it is natural to feel down. Time's up! Here are the answers. Number one, frustration. Number two, determined. Number three, Careful. Number four, expectant. Number five, sadness. Congratulations! You got all the correct answers. You did a great job. Keep going! Let's sum up all your learnings for today. Context clues are the clues or hints that a reader gets from a text by looking into the sentence or words that surround an unfamiliar word to determine its meaning. There are five types of context clues using the acronym IDEAS. I, inference or general clues. D, Definition E. Examples or explanation A. Antonym or contrast And S. Synonym or restatement An idiomatic expression is a phrase that has two meanings, a literal meaning and a figurative meaning. I'm sure that you have learned a lot today. As we end our episode, we need to test your skills if you really attained our learning goals. 
So get ready with your pen and notebook and let's now have a short quiz. Directions. Determine the meaning of the underlined words and expressions. Write the letter of your answer in your journal. Number one. The custom of Mano dates to pre-colonial times and is still practiced by every family in the country. However, this is a dying tradition in some parts of our country. A. Culture B. Gesture C. Practice D. Values Time's up! The correct answer is letter C. Practice Number 2. Respect is acquired through wisdom and is developed through experience. A. Given B. Learned C. Practiced D. Prepared Time's up! The right answer is letter B, learned. Number 3. A headstrong youth wants to pursue his uncontrollable emotion. A. Honest B. Manageable C. Obedient D. Strong-willed Time's up! The correct answer is letter D. Strong-willed Number 4 Let us visit the newly opened Balai Bukid restaurant. I was not able to take my breakfast, and I feel so hungry that I could eat a horse. A. Extremely hungry B. Feeling full C. Eat very fast D. Take much food Time's up! The answer is letter A. Extremely hungry. Number 5. The chirping of the birds is like music to my ears, which is pleasant to hear. A. Something you want to hear. B. Something that is not exactly you want to hear. C. Something that is unpleasing to hear. D. Something that is unusual to hear. Time's up! The correct answer is letter A. Something you want to hear. Excellent! I believe everybody got a perfect score because you have shown mastery of our lesson today. Now, it's time to extend your learning. For your assignment, write a sentence using each type of context clues. Do it in your English journal. In your next lesson, expect to learn more. Once again, I am Mom Charmaine, your teacher Franny from Puerto Princesa, Dream TV. 
See you in the next episode for another challenge to explore, discover, and conquer in the world of English. Bye!